What's up guys, Graham here. If you left a comment in the comment section below my last giveaway video, which was almost four weeks ago, which was the optimize your stats video, then you are entered into the giveaway of whatever you want from the Rift store, as long as it's 5,000 credits or less, and it must be giftable. And the winner of that giveaway is right there. Congratulations, we'll be sending a message to you just shortly on YouTube to find out exactly what you want from the Rift Store, so make sure you check your inbox. As usual, we do giveaways based on the donations that we receive on this channel, and I try to get back to you guys since you guys are supporting me. And this time, it's gonna be quite a few giveaways because we had a whole month's worth of donations versus what I usually do one week at a time. The first donation we had was from Jeremy, and he had been doing the reoccurring $25 donation every single month. And man, you have been so supportive. Thank you so much for all the donations you've done. I cannot thank you enough. And of course, with a donation like that, it means that it hit the $25 mark, so it's gonna be a Typhoon Edition giveaway of the new Nightmare Tide expansion. And the next donation we got was a $20 donation from Manuel, and he says, hi, this is my Toon Strauss. A big thank you for how to optimize your stats. Thank you so much to you, sir, for sending the $25 donation. It really helps support the channel. Thank you so much. And that passes the $10 mark, so that's a Rex giveaway. The next donation we got was from Ali, and he writes, Your channel is gold. Thanks for all the tips, guides, and PvP videos. Thank you so much, man. And since it passed the $10 mark, once again, we're doing another Rex giveaway. Thank you, Ali. And then Dustin gave $10, and he says, Hey, Grim. It's Ashlon. I talked to you in game on Monday night. You rock, keep up the awesomeness and skull crushing dominance. Yeah, I met this guy while doing some instant adventures. I was using one of my short login times that I was getting after all the work hours I've been putting in. I was trying to grind out my weeklies and I met this guy in the instant adventure and he was very cool and immediately sent me this donation. So thank you so much, man. And of course with Dustin's donation, that's another Rex giveaway. And then we have Scott, which he donated $10, which is a reoccurring payment that he's been doing every month. Thank you so much, and with your $10 donation, of course, that's another Rex giveaway. And the last donation is from JP, which he's been donating $10 every single month for a long time now, and been a huge supporter of the channel. It's just amazing that he's been doing that. And with his $10 donation is another Rex giveaway. So that's gonna be five Rex giveaways and a Typhoon edition of the new expansion. With so many donations, we're gonna have a ton of giveaways, so we're gonna have six different winners. Five of them went in a Rex each, and then one of them went in a Typhoon Edition. And remember, if you're one of the people that have used my referral link in the description below my videos, then you will win 10 times that amount of Rex. So use that referral link to create your account, because if you do and you win one of the Rex, then that means instead of getting one Rex, you get 10 of them. So to enter into this giveaway, all you have to do is leave your character name and server in the comment section below, and be sure to hit the like button on this video and make sure that you are subscribed. The winners will be announced in the next giveaway video. Hopefully it'll be this upcoming weekend, I'm not sure. After all, I am going on vacation this weekend, so I hope to have the video out to you as soon as possible. Good luck everybody, and thank you to everybody that stuck around during my inactivity period of me working so much, because it's really been helpful that you guys have stuck around. And for those making donations, right there, man. What's up guys, today it's going to be the first of several platinum making videos that I'm wanting to do for you and basically I'm wanting to give you guys a lot of options on how to make money in the game of Rift. A lot of people have been asking me to make a video series like this so this is the first of many. I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, the first thing that you want to do is go to the continent of Methosia, which is the oldest continent in the game of Rift, and you want to go to the zone of Stillmore, which as you can see, Stillmore is all the way in the top left of the map, and I went ahead and set the waypoint for you so it'd be easy to find. Now you want to go all the way to the western point of the Endless Citadel, and then go ahead and go into Greenskill's Blight. 
once inside you'll get confronted by Prince Hylas and he'll do his little bit of dialogue and then make you appear back at the entrance to where a whole maze will spawn in front of you. Now the maze takes a little bit of getting used to and there's a lot of monsters inside that you'll have to fight but they're extremely easy especially if you're level 65 or level 60. Now these tree guys that you see me fighting right now they polymorph you into squirrels over and over so they should always be a priority to kill first that way you don't have to deal with it. Now if you're a class that has any kind of stealth you can stealth by all these mobs and make it so much easier on yourself. The first boss that you'll end up facing is Duke Letarius, and this is an extremely easy fight. He has a lot of attacks and a lot of mobs spawning around him, but really there's nothing to it. You just go up and ignore everything else and just DPS him down. And you'll see him go into all these different stages, like where he's casting this major attack, Duke's Wrath, and he'll even go into like a tanking phase and stuff like that. You can ignore every bit of it and just DPS him down. Once he dies, it will spawn you back at the entrance once again where you'll have a chest in front of you this time that you can loot and it'll have usually between 20 to 30 platinum in it along with several other items that you can sell for platinum. After you're done with that, go ahead and enter into the maze once again and start killing all the monsters. And as you can see these little wisps in front of me that you see me attacking, these things are healing wisps. And you think that they wouldn't heal too much, especially with me being a level 65 DPS and them down, but they will actually keep that big guy alive if I don't kill them first. It's unbelievable how much they will heal that guy for. So make sure that you focus them down and then switch to the target at hand. The second boss that you'll end up facing is Infiltrator Jolin. And this guy basically has one attack where he sets down this devastating bomb. It doesn't do any damage to me at level 65, so I just wait it out. And he'll try to CC you so you don't destroy the bomb, but yeah, just ignore it and wait it out. And then you just DPS him down and he dies rather easy. Afterwards, it'll make you appear back at the entrance with a second chest that you can loot for platinum and items once again. And this is your main way of making money right here. After you get done looting, go ahead and enter the maze once again. It's just this big rinse and repeat cycle. The third boss you'll end up facing is Oracle Illyria. And you start the fight by just hitting her once. And then the two twins to the sides of her will spawn into these big werewolves and come after you. Just DPS them down. You can ignore all these wisps and everything and just focus on the bosses at hand. Afterwards, the Oracle will turn into a big werewolf herself that you just DPS down and ignore everything else. Once she dies, it'll make you spawn at the beginning once again with a third chest in front of you this time and you'll be able to loot it for platinum and items just like the other two. The fourth boss that you face is Prince Hylas. And this will be the first interesting fight that you end up having because you'll have to watch what you're doing a little bit because if everything mounts up against you, he can do a little bit of damage to you. So once you start DPSing him down, he'll start spawning the first three bosses that you faced and you just need to turn towards them and DPS them down. Once he gets low enough, he'll polymorph you into a woodland creature and he'll spawn you back at the entrance and you'll need to run along this path as fast as you can because the prince has a shield on him that is healing him now. So you have to run through all these wolves and try not to aggro too many of them if you can avoid them. But if they start attacking you, you just let them run behind you and get to the prince as fast as you can. Once you get to the prince, you want to DPS his shield down to stop his healing. So go ahead and hit him, get him where he's not healing anymore, and then you can turn towards the mobs that were chasing you, and also DPS that tree guy down because he'll be polymorphing you the entire time just like they were in the beginning. So once you get him down and kill him, It'll actually make the whole maze despawn around you and he'll appear at the middle of the room dead and you can go up and loot him for all the platinum and items that he drops. And right behind him is a pathway leading to Green Skill's room. And once you get there you'll see that there's three mobs that you need to take care of. They do a knockback so make sure that you don't have your back pointed towards Green Skill while you're fighting these guys. 
and you'll see the purple pool of water to the side there and those are around the room never get in those purple pools of water because they'll absolutely destroy you once you're done with the ads go ahead and start taking on green scale himself he does several different attacks which you can ignore all of it it's not going to hurt you much and once he gets a little bit down in health he'll take flight and fly to the side of the room and these boglings will spawn now go ahead and kill the boglings anytime they spawn and make sure you focus on the mender which is a healer now once you go ahead and kill them you can go right back to green scale if you're a range class you can probably dps him down so much that he'll never end up landing and once he dies you can go ahead and loot him up and you're done with this entire raid overall this whole encounter should take you between 15 to 25 minutes depending on the spec you're playing and if you're a stealth class or not and you should get about 185 platinum after selling all the items